What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, hope you guys are having an amazing day, and today it's just going to be like a bow shooting video, I'm going to tell you guys a little story, um, yeah, basically the story is about today, like what happened, and so, basically I just went out in the woods, you know, looking for my cameras and checking for, looking for sheds and everything, but, yeah, and I'm going to go outside and shoot my bow, so yeah, I'll see you guys outside. Alright, so I'm outside right now, and I'm going to put on my release and everything, so, yeah. But basically, today, I went outside, and um, I went to go get my cameras, my trail cameras, and like, while I'm walking, looking for sheds. So I was walking, and me and my sister were out there, and we went to go to my first camera, and we took a little detour looking for sheds and whatnot. So once we made it to where my first camera was, we looked around, and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't see it. So we went over to the next spot, or like right next to it. I'm like, wait a minute, it was back there. So we went back there, and where it was, it was gone. So I was like, where the heck is my camera? So then we looked around a little bit, and I'm like, this is has to be the tree. I look over to the right, and then on the ground, the batteries were on the ground. So someone literally grabbed my camera, took it off of the tree, took the camera, and took out the battery. So that means they took my camera, which is only about $50. So I'm like, yeah, it's money, but at least they didn't take my one that's like 80 bucks. So they took the one that's cheaper, but they took the SD card and the camera, but left the batteries on the ground. So they left the batteries on the ground. So then I called my mom, like, they stole my camera or whatnot. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm probably gonna buy locks for my camera because if people like hunt public land, they have trail cameras out. They put locks on it so no one can take it off the tree unless they literally cut down the tree. So I'm probably gonna get some locks for it. But now I only have one camera, so I'm gonna have to get another camera too, which means I'm gonna have to save up some money. So then me and her we decided that um, we're gonna go get my next camera and then maybe look around a little bit for sheds. So we went to go get my next camera and it was there. And I got pictures of a bunch of deer, one, a couple bucks that were like small. So once I got my next camera, we decided we were gonna look for sheds. And so we were walking around and everything. We went into this field by the road and we were walking down into the corner and then I saw something sticking up. I'm like, is that a shed right there? So I ran up on it. I'm like, I think it is. And I picked it up and it was a shed indeed. And uh, it was just like, it's like, it's a small buck. I'll say that. It's like a two or three point or something like that. But it was a shed from last year. So it was last year's shed, but not this year's. And so I think the person who took my camera, uh, they're on the screen right now. I think they took it because they came from the same direction that my camera was at. And that was on my other camera that we got. So I think I got the guy, but I'm not totally sure if that was him or not. But I think he went out there looking for sheds too. So it means we're not the only ones. So I think he took my camera because he saw that he was on it. And then he was looking for sheds too. And I've been shooting at 10 yards right here right now. So I'm going to move that back to 15 and then 20. So you guys are going to be able to oh, There's so many birds right here. You see all them geese? Look at all them. I mean, it's not that much, but it's still a lot. So that is the reason why I'm making this video is just to share with you guys that I found a shed and that someone took my camera. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's just, I mean, I don't like spending a bunch of money. So um, I'll probably ask for more cameras for my birthday, honestly. And today's actually like 60 degrees outside. It's actually really warm. Oh, and this is the first time I've shot with my new release. It is really good, actually. I really like it. I haven't shot my bow in a long time. Like, it's been like a month, something like that. It's been a while. Now, that was good for 15. I'm gonna go back to 20. And sorry if there's wind going through the microphone, by the way, because it is a little windy out today.
Oh, and make sure you go subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up, please. I didn't even mean to shoot that. It kind of scared me. Uh, I'm gonna go get my arrows and I'm gonna shoot some more at 20 yards. For these next three shots, I'm actually gonna take my time on it because the other ones I feel like I kind of rushed a little bit. I'm gonna shoot more at 20, but I'm just gonna cut until I go back more or if I make a really good shot or something. So, but right now I'm at 25 yards, so I'm about to sling some arrows, boys. So my first pin is 10, 15, and 20 yards. And my second pin is 25 and 30. Okay, that was not a good shot. I really need to do this on a day it's not windy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot more at 25 yards. I just got done shooting at 25 yards. First two shots, pretty good definitely a kill bull but the third one the wind blew right as when I was shooting and let me just say I almost missed the target look so these are my first two shots right here I was aiming right there it's pretty good for 25 yards this one it's the one where the wind blew oh it didn't go through my target but there's a big bulge right here where it is but um yeah oh wow I can't get it out field tip stuck right there but this is what sucks about this sometimes you can't get the arrows out I might have to cut that one out I have to cut it out with my pocket knife sometimes these things just get stuck like this right here uh, maybe that one some of these big holes it's where I've had to cut out some arrows because they just get stuck in the target for some reason I don't even know why but um yeah now I'm gonna go back to 30 yards so yeah here we go Okay, well, um, well, yeah, here's the hole from the arrow that I just cut out with my knife. And I got all three arrows out, but it's starting to rain. So, um, I'm gonna go back inside, because I'm not trying to get drenched in rain. I already got wet, because I almost fell in a creek today. But, yeah, now I'm gonna go show you guys my shed or something, I don't really know, but we're about to go inside. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, guys, I am back inside now, and it's actually been a little while. But, um, this is the antler that I found it now. I know what you're saying. Hudson, dude, this thing is tiny as crap. But this is actually a shed from last year. Because if you look at it, it's all, like, torn up and stuff. So it's been sitting out there for, like, over a year. And so it's from last year. And so, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Found it in a field. And, um, yeah, I didn't find any from this year. But, that would probably grow up and be a big buck. Hopefully. But, um, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video, I think. I don't really know, honestly. But if it isn't, then I'll probably see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not already, go to the subscribe button. Leave tons of your channel, post a on the Instagram. Put us some like this. Just comment down below. That's basically for this video. So, and until next time, peace out, boys.